Hello friends, we are going we are going to be focusing on finding the area of a rectangle. Now we already know how to find the area of a rectangle. It is length times width, so this is going to be finding the area of a rectangle. And now you might be saying, Miss Ray, I learned this last year, I already know how to do this, but the difference is with fraction measurements. So instead of having whole numbers on the side, each side has a fraction. So we're going to have to know how to multiply the fractions together to find the area because length times width is how we find area. Now, and that's very important for you to know. You have to know how to multiply fractions in order to be able to multiply uh, or to find the area. What I want you to do is I want you to get out page 355 out of your textbook, volume two. I want you to cut out the independent practice. I am just going to fold it at the current moment because I do not want to take the time to cut. And I don't have scissors with me, so I'm going to just fold it the time being and I will glue it in after. Okay, so basically what it's gonna look like is this right here, okay? Our independent practice. So I'm gonna zoom in on the first one. I'm gonna explain what they're talking about here. Now this might look familiar because when we were doing the area, not the area, we were doing the models of our multiplication, this is exactly what it looked like. So basically we did one half, which was this. So if we colored this in, one half, okay? And then we did the four, so, oh wait, no, one half would be here, sorry. This would be one half. This would be one fourth, and this would be the overlapping, okay? So what I would do in order to find out the area is to multiply it length times width. And I would find the area as one eighth. Now the only reason why I would know how to how to do have to know how to do this is if I have a question and they might ask me what is the answer. Well the area would be what is shaded. I would have one third yard times four sixth yards equals one, two, three, four. And then we have eight there should be 18, so it be four 18s, because there's four, and then there's out of 18. So if I was to solve six, I would do four sixths times one third, and that would be four 18ths. See, four 18ths. Four out of the 18 is shaded. If I was gonna do this one, three fourths times three fourths, three fourths, times three-fourths. Don't let this one yard and stuff like that throw you off. Just look at the measurements here. So be nine-sixteenths. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. How many do I have shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Okay. We have, I'm going to go down here, 3 tenths times 4 fifths, which would be 12 fiftieths, okay? I would look to see if I can, I can divide these by 2. Um, when I simplify, it would give me 6 tenths, uh, 20 fifths. So let's look, do I have 25? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that'd be 50 total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 fiftieths. That's my answer. Let's do this one here. 3 quarters times 1 fourth equals, let me see if I can guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 4 times 4 is 16, and then 3. 3 times 3 is, so this would be 3 16ths of an inch. 
The next one would be 2 fifths times 3 fifths equals 6 twenty fifths. Okay, let's look at the ones on the bottom here. Find an area of a rectangle with side lengths of 3 quarters of a foot and 5 thirds of a foot. This should be over here. So it'll be 5 thirds times 3 fourths. Yes, it's an improper fraction, but that doesn't matter because we're going to have to change it in that anyway, which is why we learned that first. So this would be 1 and 3 twelfths or 1 and 1 fourth. Okay. The next one would be a square. Now a big thing is a square has sides that are all the same. So this would be 3 eighths times 3 eighths. And it would be 9, 64. And I think you can, nope, cannot divide that by anything. That is, find the area of the rectangle with a side length of 7, 2, and 5 fourths. 35 over 8. And then we have to solve, how many times does that go in there? 4. So four and three eighths. There we go. So that is going to be your practice for the area.